Hello, good afternoon and welcome to Blackwell Meadows for this Panorama National League North game between Darlington and Kidderminster Harriers. Uh, game is on, as you'll have gathered. Uh, some doubt this morning. There was a heavy frost in uh, in this part of County Durham this morning, but the pitch actually looks in pretty good shape, actually. Temperature's risen maybe just above freezing, uh, but uh, game on anyway, and both teams preparing themselves and the crowds filing into Blackwell Meadows for what will hopefully be uh, a good and entertaining game between two teams who were in great form after last week. It's going to be a left-footed delivery, clipped in swinging, back post. Griffiths is underneath it and gets the first header on it. Jarrett Rivers takes the ball on his thigh and clears it. There was a shout for handball there. I don't think there was too much in it. But the ball only finds its way down to uh, Kazia Martin here. And then Danny Rose intercepts that pass. He read that one nicely, Rose. And Darling will have the chance to have some possession. Played forward, looking for Lambert. He can't get there, but Will Hatfield's going to get on the second ball. Just inside Kidderminster's half, plays it down the line to Lambert. Lambert's going down that left-hand channel. He's going to have a run at low early in the game. He's going to go around the outside. Lambert gets to the byline, pulls it back, puts a nice cross-across back stick, but there's just nobody could get on the end of it. Everyone had gone front post, but that's the type of play you're hoping for from Jack Lambert, isn't it? Yeah, that's the type of architectural play there from Lambert. Does the man in, cuts it back inside, clips it to the back stick, but unfortunately no one there. But optimistic football there and a good start from the Quakers. So that's... Uh Good news for everyone in the second half when it starts to get dark down in that corner. Throw in taken down the line from Smith and Cassidy can win the first header but there's nobody able to get anywhere near him so it just goes through to the goalkeeper. He rolls it out underarm to uh, Bajrami, plays it into the feet of Sterling. Sterling plays a diagonal ball trying to get one behind Smith and Lambert there but Lambert's got back well to defend and does well turns the ball inside but giving possession away on the edge of the box though and the shot's parried clear by Taylor Darling looked to have that one tidied up but the clearance only came to a Kidderminster player and uh, the referee gives Darling a free kick for a handball there which looked a generous one but good bit of goalkeeping from Taylor yeah did what he had to do there dived to his right made the save uh, and uh, Darlow win the free kick here just inside their own half for a handball uh, sustained, sustained spell of possession from the Quakers but at the Harriers did have a nice chance there could have could have opened the score sheet yeah, so Kidderminster will have a piece of possession play the ball straight and trying to get it behind Ellis but Ellis is equal to it just calmly nods it down to Griffiths Griffiths sees Rivers uh, Lambert ahead of him and Lambert's going to have chance to try and keep that ball in on that far left hand side he's one, one against one on the corner of the box finds Hatfield Hatfield gives it back to Lambert Lambert gets the cross but again Cassidy had come short and the cross went back post Darling still in possession though Perver to Rose Rose comes to Rivers. Nice spell again from Darlington. Rivers has got Griffiths hugging the sideline, right hand side. So he picks the ball up. He's got his man one on one. Comes inside, left footed cross. Nobody can get a touch. It's gone all the way across the face of goal. And uh, between Cassidy and Lambert, just needed a touch. Yeah, it was just flashed across the face of the goal there. Any touch, and it's a goal, really. A great, great left footed ball in there from uh, Griffiths. Good play. Kidderminster happy to take some possession as well. Ball is played wide to I think that's Sterling, Sterling puts the ball into the box, Ellis clears it only as far as the edge of the ER box but Hatfield comes and tidies it up and then finds Lambert Lambert lovely little turn inside there, fantastic player by Jack Lambert if we can find Perver if we can get him on the ball in and around the opposition box we're going to be in business Griffiths drives forward over the halfway line, he has Rivers outside him, he keeps going, Rivers finds Rose, Rose back to Rivers Darlington getting to this point in the field pretty well, it's whether they can create the chance afterwards Ball is with Rose. Rose to Rivers. Rivers has got three men around him. Plays the ball down, looking for Lambert. But actually, Cassidy's going to keep the ball in there. Pulls the ball back. There's a chance. Can't find Griffiths. Chance for Perver. Perver shoots. Just deflected wide. It's going to be a corner for Darlington. Kidderminster now one centre back to another. Low to Bajrami. And then play the ball. Nice little flick on there. And uh, Kidderminster driving forward. Darlington with some defending to do, waiting for the flag to go up. It hasn't gone up. Taylor has to dash off his line and make a good smart save there. So after all that possession, it's Kidderminster who create the chance. Cassidy takes the ball as a shout for handball, not given. Ball's played down the line as Darlington look for, Lam for Hatfield, but the assistant puts his flag up and 
brings that one to a close. It just shows Dalit had all that possession there, didn't it? But it was the the chance was created really for for Kidderminster. Yeah, it just epitomises non-league football, that doesn't it? Dal have been on top for the last six minutes, didn't really create a full chance, and Kidderminster go down the other other end out of nothing and create a, a good chance, great save from Taylor to keep them keep the game goalless on the ball. Comes back to Lambert. Lambert, nice in possession again. Finds Smith and then Rose. But the ball's just hooked forward and uh, Lowers sliced an attempted clearance out behind for a, a goal kick there. He uh, uh, For a corner, sorry, not a goal kick. I don't know what he was quite trying to do, but it, it didn't work for him. It would really be a sucker punch if we could capitalise upon it. It's going to be Jack Lambert who's going to take it from the left wing as Darlington in attack again in swinging. It's going to be right under the under the crossbar again. It's all the way across and it's had to be headed behind. Great delivery by Lambert there. Put it right on the sixpence and caused a bit of trouble under the uh, Kidderminster crossbar. Uh, this time the corner is going to be from the opposite side. So again, Darlington stick both centre uh, centre backs and Cassidy under the under the crossbar and invite Rose to find them. Rose delivery is good again. It's gone all the way across the face oh. of goal. Ellis had the first attempt and then Hatfield at the back and it just needed a touch but the touch wasn't there. Yeah, any touch on that and that's 1-0 Quakers. A great flick on there by Ellis. Not sure if he was trying to flick it on or if he was trying to go for goal but in the end it, it bounced just past the post and just wide. Goal kick to the Harriers. Darlington utilising the two corners well but not able to just... Uh, Get the ball over the goal line. Both both of those corners causing problems though. And then balls with Story finds Ellis. Kidderminster pressing high up the pitch. Darling have to be careful here, but they deal with it nicely until that misplaced pass from Story. But Rose comes in and uh, interrupts that potential passenger play. And that's a high foot there on Hatfield. Again, of course, Mr. Aspinall sent Jake Cooper off uh, for a high challenge in that York game I don't think he seems so animated on this one but there was certainly a, a, a raised foot there on Hatfield that caught him leg on your you're the, the ref yeah, amongst us what did you think of that one yeah it was dangerous there Carrington just sort of gave the ball away and tried to try to maintain possession when it, it wasn't his ball raised the boot and it seemed to connect with Hatfield it was luckily for him he seems to be up not in too much pain a few seconds to take this through and it's just right in front of the visit and dugout Throws down the line. Smith gets there first and heads it back down into space where the ball is returned. Story can't win that one in the air and then Rose hooks it clear over his shoulder. Kidderminster in possession. Play the ball down the right-hand side. Have a little overlap going on over there, but they have to come back. Darlington competing well for the ball through Rose and Lambert. Little one played forward by Kidderminster, though, and they're trying to find a little bit of space here. It's come over to Richards, corner of the 18 yard box. Jarrett Rivers has some defending to do. Can Rivers stop the cross? Gets a touch on it. Flicks, it's going to be the open and goal, surely. It's been headed wide from three, two yards, something like that. Rivers got a touch on the cross and it looped up in the air, and it was a really, really good chance. Yeah, Smith leapt the highest for uh, two yards out and he really should have done better from there, I do think. Just pushed it, glanced it wide of the post, but really still a chance at the close of the half there. I, I was, I was uh, almost putting my head in my hands already because it looked almost impossible to miss that one, didn't it? It just looped up, came down, spinning down a little bit, but uh, it just looked like any sort of half-decent contact and that would have been it in the net. And then he's just dispossessed, unfortunately. He just got past his man for the first time, couldn't quite get the pass off. Ball played forward from the Harriers. Story's facing towards his own goal. He's had his pocket picked. He needs to not make the foul here. And uh, the shot comes wide. And uh, it's gone in the back of the net. And then the referee's given Darlington a free kick. And, uh, well, it wasn't great defending from Story. I'm not sure it was great goalkeeping from Taylor anyway. But the outcome is a free kick to Darlington. And you're going to have to talk me through what that's for, Ollie. Um... I'm not sure what it was for. I followed the shot, which which did find the back of the net. But I'm not going to complain. I'm going to take a bit of look on it when we get it and move on goalless. I must admit, uh, just to put colour on what happened there, Story had let the ball go past, and what's, now what's he doing? The referee. I'm just going to say what's going to happen here because he's indicate the referee's indicated a Darlington free kick, and now he's Danny Ellis is beckoning all the Darlington players back as fast as he can. I've no idea. He definitely signalled for a Darlington free kick. I think he might have changed his mind and he's now given Kidderminster the free kick. I'm not at all sure. He's trying to explain what's going on. Kidderminster free kick, 25 yards from goal. 
Free kick's taken, it's over the wall, and it's straight into Taylor's arms. Dalek not really able to string much together in the way of possession in these opening minutes of the second half. Ball's back with Griffiths. Griffiths plays one into the box, a little bit hopeful, but it's uh, well tidied up. Second ball's tidied up by Smith, though, and he plays it back to Lambert. Lambert's got a chance with his man one-on-one. -on -one. Gets it onto his left foot, brings it back onto his right. Goes around the outside, gets to the byline. Gets the cross all the way across. No Darlington player can get on the end of it, and it's just tidied away. Rose is going to slide in and make a good challenge to stop the counter-attack, but good play again by Lambert. It's magic. Yeah, once again, Darlow going forward using Lambert and uh, Rose there. Once again, everything coming through them. Smith having to do some defensive work there. The ball's broken. Kidderminster to drive and forward. Coming towards the edge of the box. Good slide and challenge there. But second ball's come loose and it's a goal bound shot which uh, Taylor's not going to be able to keep in as it deflected behind. Darlet nil, Kidderminster nil. It's going to be a left footed corner in swinging. It's low and flat, nobody gets a touch on it, bobbling on the six yard box, Darlet need to clear the lines here if they can, can they get the ball clear, it's still dancing around, it's just propped back out, chance for Kidderminster to cross again, all the way across, good brave header there, referee doesn't give anything for dangerous play, still going, ball's on the edge of the box, Hatfield slides into a challenge, Purvis slides into a challenge, Darlet just about clearing the lines here so far, Kidderminster still in possession. Ball was bobbling about in Darlet and six yard box for uh, rather too long a time for my comfort level there. Yeah, it was a proper non-league goal mark scramble there, wasn't it? But to no prevail for Kidderminster. They're going to have a chance. Kidderminster take it. Nice delivery all the way across and it bounces in front of Taylor and then safely into his arms. Again, Kidderminster this time couldn't get anything behind the goal. I've got to commend the tin shed behind there, making a real right good old racket support on the team. Let's hope it drives them on. Rivers is on the ball, running down the right-hand side. He's attacking his man, comes inside to Hatfield. Hatfield drops it back to Rivers. Cross takes a deflection. Cassidy gets a touch and it comes to Lambert. Lambert opens his body up, but uh, first-time shot flashes wide. Yeah, Did massive everything chance right. there. Beautiful flick on from Cassidy. That's one thing that's brilliant. That beats his man, flicks it on back post to Lambert, who unfortunately about eight, eight or nine yards out just flashes it wide first time, but great chance there. Substitution for Darlington, coming off number 23, Alex Perver. Alex Ball is with uh, Martin for Kidderminster. Story gets his toe in. Darlington have got three defenders around there but can't pick the ball up. So it's 25 yards from goal for Kidderminster. It's back with Martin. Martin brings the ball onto his left foot. Slides it round to the left wing where it's wide open there. No Darlington plays anywhere near. Kidderminster attacking down the left-hand side and the... Uh, Referee's given a free kick for a trip there. Took his time to think about it, but then he's, he's given the free kick just outside the box. Yeah, dangerous area this here for Kidderminster. There could likely be one of those that flashes across the face of the goal, any sort of contact, and it goes in. Yeah, very good position. Referee did think about it. But, uh, he's a lot closer than we are on that one, so dangerous moments for Darling. This is Kidderminster have a free kick just outside the box. They've gone inside, chance to create the shooting opportunity. It's clipped under the crossbar. Can anyone get a touch? A Darling header gets a touch. It's ball still in play, though. They're going to have the chance to put the cross in. That's very deep. And uh, the assistance flag goes up because the ball's gone behind. So Darling had a difficult defensive moment there. But Kidderminster in possession. Rose has broke play up there and Hatfield tidies up after him. Ellis just loops a one forward again looking for Lambert. Lambert gets the header on it and he's going to get in front of his man as well. Lambert's going to try and see if he can squeeze something out of play here. He's right down the left-hand side, gets the cross across. It's a good cross, but Lowe heads it. Maybe just needed a few more yards worth of distance on that to make that a diff difficult one to defend. Kidderminster playing out from the back, but Hatfield snapped into that there. Lowe asked a lot of his defender. Ball's back with Lambert, corner of the 18-yard box. Gets the shot, has a shot from left-footed left from a wide area. Flashes. Still haven't quite got over that bit of referee and got Darlow off the hook at the start of the second half anyway stories on the ball played it for that's a poor ball in fairness and Lowe is just going to hook it back Wheatley's beaten to that ball in the air there by uh, Ethan Fremantle Kidderminster coming down the left hand side now this is a dangerous moment inside the box can he get to the byline does get to the byline just needs a touch it's headed in oh. from a couple of yards in and Kidderminster Harriers have taken the lead in injury time and you said a minute ago, what a difficult pill to swallow it would be for either of these teams, and it's Dalek and having to swallow the pill. Oh, that's heart-wrenching stuff there, it truly is. Oh, nightmare to see. 
headed in from close range. Couldn't see the goal scorer from where we are. They allowed the defender to get around the left hand side. Yeah, I think it Danny was Sam Ellis Austin was beaten on the, there the, on the uh, edge, trying to block the shot. Wasn't a shot, and he came on, and uh, Denanga scored again. Marcus um, Denanga, you were talking about him just a moment ago, and he's. Uh, I think this is going to be one of his favourite grounds, isn't it? But uh, I don't care too much if we don't see him back for a while. Yeah, it is. They have looked a good side, um, similar to Gateshead, really. I think we have, we have played really well against them, but sometimes days like this happen and you've just got to bounce back, pick yourself up, know you've played well and move on to the next game and try and get three points. Throw in again to Kidderminster. They're managing this game without any discomfort, really. Darlington can't get in. Kidderminster's half since, since the goal, I don't yeah, think. Look, look tired, I think. Ball is thrown down the line. Wheatley's back there in his own corner flag. He's been clipped on the back of the heels. And there's the full-time whistle. And, and uh, the final score here at Blackwell Meadows is Dalek nil, Kidderminster Harriers 1. Injury time winner from uh, substitute Marcus Devanga is all there is to pick between two pretty evenly matched teams. And uh, Kidderminster are the team who will go back home tonight happy. Uh, yeah, they'll be elated. You summarise it? Yeah, they'll, they'll be elated, Kidderminster. They'll know... They'll know they've been contested and taken right to the final to the final round there, and they've they've managed to when it really mattered, dig deep and uh, find.